In this series of videos, we will read the Care Certificate Workbooks, both what you need to know and what do you know now. This video covers Standard 11, Safeguarding Children, What Do You Know Now? And it's over to my colleague to read through this workbook. The Care Certificate, Safeguarding Children, What Do You Know Now? Standard 11, The Care Certificate Workbook. Activity 11.1a. Complete the table below to list three examples of signs or symptoms or indicators of each type of abuse listed. List. This term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. Physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, radicalization, child trafficking, female genital mutilation, FGM. Activity 11.2. Complete the spider diagram below to identify the potential influence a parent, carer's physical or mental health could have on the child's well-being. An example has been provided for you. Identify, point out, highlight or note down the main answers or examples that relate to the subject. Potential impact of a carer's or parent's health on the child's well-being. The example given, it could increase their vulnerability. Activity 11.2 Think about the impact that domestic violence may have on the well-being of a child. Complete the sentence below to show your understanding. Experiencing domestic violence can have a negative influence on a child or young person's well-being because... Activity 11.3 Choose three of the rights that, your children and young, that children and young people have by law and state these in the table below. 5. How to work in ways that respect each right. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Examples of the children's right. How to work in ways that respect each right. Activity 11.4. Familiarise yourself with your organisation's safeguarding children's policy and procedures, if in place. Or speak to your manager about safeguarding children. Read the scenario below and answer the questions that follow. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Case scenario. 16-year-old Maro has been visiting his grandfather regularly at your workplace. Last week, Maro missed his usual visit. When you see him today, you notice that he's got a black eye and scraped hands. When you ask him about it, he answers that he walked into a door frame. Fill in the boxes below to describe the following. What you should do if you have concerns that a child may be at risk of abuse or abuse has been alleged. State to whom you should report your concerns to and state from whom you should seek advice and guidance. Activity 11.5. Familiarise yourself with your organisation's safeguarding children's policy and procedures if in place or speak to your manager about safeguarding children. Read the scenario below and answer the questions that follow. Identify. Point out, highlight or note down the main answers or examples that relate to the subject. Case scenario. 12-year-old Sarah is very interested in new technologies and uses her laptop and smartphone frequently for research, as well as keeping in touch with friends by posting pictures and daily thoughts on social network sites and using chat, work, chat rooms to make new friends. What are the potential risks that Sarah might be exposed to when using the internet and online social networks frequently? Identify your thoughts on the spider diagram below. Risks to safety arising from use of the internet and social networks. Activity 11.6. Using your understanding of the following legislation, summarise the main purpose of each law that helps to safeguard children and young people. Summarise. To summarise means to think about the main points and simplify or shorten these points to provide a basic outline. The Children Act 1989, the Children Act 2004, the Sexual Offences Act 2003, the Care Act 2014 and the Children and Families Act 2014. Well done on completing the What You Need to Know booklet. We have the next standard in this playlist to support your learning through the full 15 standards. Mm -hmm.